No colanders were used in the making of this video. Okay, hello. Today I am going to show you how to make fried rice better than Roger. Okay, so first of all, wait, 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 we've got our wok. And before you point it out, yes, there is a fucking dirty ass scratch on the bottom of this. Never, never lend your wok to a housemate at all. They will fuck it up and go, oh, sorry, and then you don't even buy your new wok. And this one was beautiful, look at it. Oh, jeez, too good. And he's ruined it. Okay, so all you need to do to make some amazing fried rice is have all of these simple ingredients. We have ready made rice from yesterday. Asmati rice, very nice. Got spring onions to garnish. Very, very finely diced onion and carrot. Diced chicken. Two eggs. Ah, uh ah, -uh, ah, uh ah, -uh, my camera drops. Then soy sauce, garlic, butter and ginger, toasted sesame oil, uh, soy sauce, and salt. So I'm oh, oh, and pepper. Pepper is always best if you steal it from your roommate. I don't know why, but ingredients always just taste a hundred times nicer if you just steal them from someone. There we go, we got, we got the pepper right there. I know it's not the best fucking ingredients, but it's, it's, this is what we have. Now, now you got to wait until the wok is nice and hot before you start. Okay, so this is the part of the video where I uh, fucked up the audio a bit, so I'm just going to talk over it. So I'm basically saying just make the wok as hot as possible. And I know you can see that disgusting fucking scratch on the bottom, but I assure you that that was my roommate who who is now missing. So yeah, you're pouring your eggs, you scramble them. I know this is very unconventional, but you do this first. Give them a, give them a nice little scramble, twist around in the wok. It makes them taste so freaking good. And then uh, after these have like been cooked for a while, after these are cooked, you, you set them aside and put them in later, which just makes the, ooh, when you put them back in, it's just, ooh, you just taste amazing. See, Uncle Roger wouldn't think of this type of shit. O only me, only me. And see, see, I'm setting them aside on a plate for later. They'll stay hot, and when I put them back in, the 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 the, the, uh, the egg doesn't break up into small little pieces. You still get nice big chunks of egg, of scrambled egg in there, which tastes too fucking good. Too good for Uncle Roger. Way too good for Uncle Roger. Okay, now, we start with the uh, onions and carrots putting in, very finely diced. These are where you get a ton of flavour from. The two best vegetable, the two best vegetables you can get combined together. They add all the umami of the fried rice. Give them a nice stir. Oh, oh, look at this professional uh, wok tossing. Oh, can't go wrong. And I know what you're thinking. You probably said this by now. You probably commented on it by now. But yes, I see that there is a fucking dirty ass hob there instead of burners. Uh, well, I'll just have to tell you. That's all you get when you're a student. You don't get fucking houses with burners. It's the sad truth of this world. You, you just get stuck with these shitty ass fucking uh, electric hob that heats up to from one to nine. Can't control the fire. I know I, I'd love the fire as well. That's the only thing that Uncle Roger beats me in in this. I'll give it to him. He, he, he has a good burner, I'm guessing. He, he has good burners in home, but unfortunately I don't. So give these a nice little toss. Wait until the uh, carrots have gone a little soft uh, and the onions have like... As you can see there, they started to uh, go more clear and more see-through. Uh, uh, so the flavors, the flavors, it's getting nice and cooked, but nice and cooked on the, I think I've got on the highest setting now on nine at the moment. Keep tossing it over the heat, which would be better with burners because you could keep it over the fire to keep the fucking heat coming through it. But it's all, it's all you've got with a fucking hob, as I've said multiple times. Uh, so I'm guessing I'm taking my fucking time doing this though. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're cooked now. But now we're getting the chicken. Very finely diced chicken. You know, that's some nice small little cubes. And we scrape it all in. Don't waste any of this. Or my dad will whip out his belt and beat the shit out of me. Okay. Turkish dads for you. That's what you get. Oh, oh, they, they're just not very lenient when it comes to it. Now, you're wondering, probably wondering why I have a spoon there. Yes, yes, you can just toss it all to mix it up. But a spoon's good to like help break it, break it up and everything because uh, it, it would normally all get stuck together with uh, like the clumps of chicken stuck together. But now, yes, give it, a, give it a stir and then I'll toss it around a bit. Now I've got to warn you, you probably see in a in, in maybe a minute or so uh, a very shit toss by me that I kind of fuck up. 
That one was meh. That one was meh then. I got like one piece of carrot thrown out or some shit. Uh, but that's a sacrifice we can make. But uh, in a bit, uh, you, you might see a toss that's, that's very disgraceful and I'll make you very upset. But still, I still <laughs> guarantee that the fried rice tastes better than Uncle Roger's. Better than anything he could do. I promise that. I promise that. Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, there's a bit of carrot that I'm picking back up. It's not gone on the floor, so it's fine. Even if it goes on the floor. Don't waste food, kids. Don't waste foods. Okay, uh, so keep, keep mixing this. Wait until the chicken's cooked about 90% until uh, you move on. Tastes very fucking good. Uh, so all the chicken gone like nice and white. Uh, there's no pink left. Uh, yeah, since the, since I've lubed up the wok, uh, it's gonna stick to the side. It's not gonna like be perfect and not stick to the side, but that's why I'm scraping it a bit. But now we're gonna add the rice. This is yesterday's rice, so it's perfect. I've fluffed it and everything. It's amazing. Uh, so no complaining about the rice. No, no colanders were used in the making of this video, which I can assure you, I did the wok perfectly. I measured to the first knuckle. Uh, I used basmati rice, all good. Break up the rice as well, so there's no like little uh, balls of it, because that's kind of stupid. You don't want little balls of rice. Yeah, you want it all broken up, so I'm, that's what I'm doing. I'm breaking up some of the rice here. Uh, just makes it taste fucking amazing. The rice gets mixed in, but we're going to start adding some some, some, some seasonings in, in a minute. So we're going to add the, like, the garlic and the ginger. Garlic and ginger, the two, the be one of the best combinations you can have. And that's what's going in. I, I couldn't get any of these cool... Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, no. Oh, no. I fucked it. Oh, shit. Oh, no. This is going on YouTube as well. No chance I'm redoing this. Couldn't be bothered spending my student loan on food and then back, oh, just doing it for a video. Okay, so see, we're not wasting food. I'm gonna put it back in. See, this is my food, I'm eating this. I've eaten it all already by the time you've, you've seen this. Uh, yeah, 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 this is some at the back. I guarantee I ate all of that, uh, all of that carrot and onion and rice that spilled out of the back. Uh, I licked it off the hob, clean off the hob. Uh, after this, oh, okay, I put in butter, butter, garlic, and ginger here. Two cloves of garlic because you can never go wrong with too much garlic. Uh, about two centimeters of ginger root. Yeah, fresh ginger. Fresh ginger is all the way the best. And then a bit of butter to, ooh, garlic because garlic butter everyone knows tastes fucking amazing. Ah, oh, one of the best. One of the best things. Makes you fat though, but it tastes too good to not put in. Uh, this will just amplify the umami of the food to the next level. And as you can see, now that I put all of this shit in, it's not sticking to the side as much, like the carrots and the uh, onions anymore. And it's getting all mixed up and everything. I'm going to carry on attempting tossing. I'm not a pussy, so... Oh, oh but here, here, here I'll put in some... Uh, a little bit of salt. Not too much, like two pinches. Because you're going to be adding soy sauce later, and soy sauce is fucked on us. Uh, really full of salt. Uh, but you might be wondering why I'm not using MSG. I know, I know. Uh, but... I'm just, I'm just too lazy to buy off Amazon, honestly. And where I live, there's just no Chinatown near me, so I can't go buy any in person. And I'm just too lazy to go buy MSG. I had all of the ingredients. I didn't want any of the spring onions or onions to go bad, or carrots or whatever. So I uh, so I couldn't be bothered. Oh, there's a successful top. There's a successful toss. There you go. There you go. That's what we've been waiting for. Uh, better tossing than Cool Roger can do. Or Gordon Ramsay. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I didn't buy an MSG because I'm a little pussy. Now we add the egg back. Now we add the egg back. I think I've added pepper at this point. Yeah, I've added salt and pepper to this part. Normally I'd add daichi to it, but daichi powder, but, uh, I'm also lazy and couldn't be buying that with, couldn't be bothered buying that with the MSG. Uh, because it's fucking expensive as well. Uh, MSG is way more expensive than regular salt. Uh, I've, I've, uh, back home at my parents' house, not a university, uh, my, my dad uses MSG all the time, and that is facts. And his fucking Turkish cuisine, oh, it slaps! It slaps! It hits! It hits different. It's too good. Mediterranean food is the best in the world. Best. And okay, now we're adding a bit of sesame oil because sesame oil is also amazing. This is something Uncle Roger never puts in because he's too scared to put it in. He's scared of how strong the sesame oil is. He's scared of the power. And now we put soy sauce in. Now I drizzle a bit of soy sauce on top. Oh. Oh, it heightens it. It heightens the... Oh, I, I literally was just watching this. It's making me want more fried rice now. It's too goddamn good. Yeah, mix it in, stir it, make it all beautiful. 
And I assure you the rice is not wet at all after this. It's perfect. It's light, it's fluffy, the, all the uh, uh, all the flavors come together perfectly in harmony. Uh, it's, it's just amazing. Better than anything Roger Clear ever, ever do. Or Jamie Oliver, fucking Jamie Oliver. Oh my God. I, w I watched Uncle Roger's video reviewing him, but that was disgusting. That man killed fried rice. Uh, but uh, but uh, we can thank Gordon Ramsay for redeeming the Brits there. And there's some a few more successful tops, tosses. Okay, okay. So we had one, one bad toss in the making of this video. <laughs> okay, spring onions. We add a couple now. We save the rest for the garnish. Because spring onions are, as we all know, a garnish. We mix a few in now. So you add two, two different textures of spring onions. You get those that are a little cooked. A little cooked. So with a milder crunch to them. Uh, and then you have those that are not cooked. And the garnish on top. Uh, just so you can get a bit of that spring onion flavor seeping into the to the fried rice as a whole and it's just it's just too good oh look at that it's looking nice and uh i know it's my bad camera but i assure you it's not this yellow in person it's more uh it's more brownish i don't know why it's this yellow on the camera my, my, my camera's just a bit shitty uh yeah thank you for watching this part of the video though guys uh i assure you it's amazing food thanks Okay, so this is the last part of the video in which I will show you how I plate it. Okay, but it, I'm not showing you how you plate it. You know how, how you plate fried rice. Pour half of this piping hot bowl of just pure ecstasy straight into straight into the bowl. Make it look a little... You don't, really, you don't need to make it look nice. It's fried rice. Just make sure you don't leave any till later. Your dad will be... Make sure you don't leave any or waste any of the food. Your dad will beat you with his belt black and blue uh you can see how nice and messy my kitchen is in the background it's actually quite clean there uh, okay we've got the thyme and the dill in the background this look it's looking kind of nice uh but oh, look see we'll put spring onions on top we've got a spoon right in we've got half we're going to save the half of the uh fried rice for later for my supper no no actually actually seconds seconds i'm going to eat it all now Thank you for watching and goodbye. So addictive you'll die!